If I could give the transfusion without loss of time or efficiency, I would. Sarek understands my reason. Well, I don't. It's not human. Oh, that's not a dirty word. You're human, too. Let that part of you come through. The ones I wrote, I think my absolute personal favorite is Journey to Babel because it went into the Vulcan relationships between families. I think that it's a story that's universal and timeless, that communication between parents and children. And that, to me, was the big story. The rest of it was an adventure, it was a spy story, it was a mystery, it was an action story. But all in all, it was really about the parents and the child. And, of course, it was a grown-up child and grown-up parents. In other words, you know, Sarek was 102 at the time. But um, uh, there still had been a vast lack of communication between them, and they needed to find each other as parent and child. Do you want to know how I feel about your logic? Emotional, isn't she? She has always been that way. Indeed. Why did you marry her? At the time, it seemed the logical thing to do. Mark had a real sense of the dignity and authority that the character needed. Jane was very human, which was exactly what that character needed. They were terrific together. They asked me about any suggestions that I had about, about the Balkans, how to deal with the Balkan ideas. And I said that I, I thought, you know, I had introduced this by that time, and I had introduced the neck pinch into Star Trek, and, and uh, I said, I've kind of, it seems to me uh, that I have kind of come around to thinking that the Vulcans in some way are hand-oriented people. There's a lot that has to do with their hands. And I said, maybe you and Jane could find a way to demonstrate that when you walk together or when you work together. And they ended up doing this to each other's hands as they walked. Instead of holding hands, they touched fingers, which was a, oh, I thought it was a wonderful touch. Spock, I'm asking you, what's wrong? I need rest. I'm asking you, to accept that answer. I remember that one very well. An excellent script. Very, very uh, poetic, very dramatic, intense, and important, I felt immediately, for Spock and the Balkans, because it was the first time we we're going to go to Balkan, first time we we're going to see other Balkans. We had never seen any other Balkans show up to that point. And uh, Live Long and Prosper was written in that script by Theodore Sturgeon for the very first time we ever used those words. Live long, Tipau, and prosper. Live long and prosper, Spock. I shall do neither. I have killed my captain and my friend. There was the scene where I was to meet Tipau the leader of the Vulcan people, uh, who was a very dignified, regal, wonderful lady, uh, Celia Lofsky, the actress, played her beautifully. Great stature, importance. And when we first meet, I thought we should have some special kind of greeting. So I suggested to the, to the uh, director that we, that we do this. And he went for it. We had a little trouble because she couldn't do it. She said, <laughs> We worked it out. We got her uh, 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 to the point where she, she held her hand in the proper shape with her other hand out of sight of the camera. So when I raised my hand, she was ready and she raised hers. And that's how we got that done into the show. And there was that wonderful payoff where, uh, where I believed that I had killed Kirk. And, uh, and she says to me, live long and prosper, Spock. And I said, I shall do neither. I've killed my captain and my friend. Great moment. Beautiful writing, you know. There can be no excuse for the crime of which I'm guilty. I intend to offer no defense. Furthermore, I shall order Mr. Scott to take immediate command of this vessel. Don't you think you better check with me for it? Captain. <laughs> Jim! And, and then we're on the ship, and I'm telling McCoy that he has to take charge because I'm going to resign. I can't continue as an officer on this ship. And in walks... Bill Shatner as Kirk, and Spock smiles, you know, for a moment. <laughs> it was a very, very exciting episode to, to shoot and perform. It was uh, so beautifully written, and, and great casting of, of the other people. It was very good. <laughs>